it's the first of September and we're having like blue skies and summer weather. I'm wearing I'm actually wearing silly me long sleeves. And I should have <laughs> worn you wanted me in a vlog, buddy. Oh don't do that. <laughs> Help me. Don't kill me. Hey! <laughs> do it! Good morning, it's Igna from Sign of Horses. Yeah. It's early. It's, I don't know what time it is, but it, I got up at quarter to seven this morning and it's a Sunday. So that makes it extra early. It's the Sunday early thing, whatever. I don't know what I'm going to say. Anyway, we're getting everything ready because we're going with a bunch of people to the Vada Trail. We went there last year. I rewatched the vlog of last year and it was slightly cringe worthy because I didn't even know what going what my blood because I didn't even know what was going on and I wrote the thing. So I hope this year that I'll be able to make a slightly better vlog with a little bit more explanation of what the beep we're doing. Um I think I'm swearing too much. I think it's because of the lack of coffee and the sun is shining in my face. So this is the intro done, because I can't look in the sun anymore. This is the intro done. We're going to go and pack up the horses and be on our way. loading technique from Liz and me today. <laughs> from here the wonky footage starts because I've got a camera just plain in my hand, no gimbal or fancy stuff. Um, I'm on my horse, no kidding, you would have could have guessed. Etik is right next to me on her horse Twisty and this is the Vada area and we're on the Vada trail again. That means that we're going to do like a hack for around 20 kilometers and then there's tasks to do in between and we already did the first task we had to eat a marshmallow off a string and we managed yay so we'll see you at the next task Bye. we're queuing for the next task we already had one task which I forgot to say or film <laughs> story of the vlogging on your horseback uh, type of thing. It's really really hard to vlog and be in riding at the same time. Um, but we had a task where we had to move a teddy bear from A to B. Yeah, which went good. Perfectly fine for Eat as well. Right Eat? Yep. yep. And then we did some cantering and we did some trotting and the horses are um, going between a little bit crazy to relaxed. and. Itik and I were just saying it's always the thing with um, hacks like this. It's really, really hard to control the environment and control your horse and control the situation that can cause tension for both you and the horse. And um, a, no two rides are ever the same uh, in that. And that's also what I love about horses, is that you never know what you're going to get. Who said that? I think it was Forrest Gump, but I said it now. Yeah. Okay. So they drew up a maze and you have to go through it without stepping over the lines, which is really hard because the horses can't see the lines. Uh, there's a little uh, dotted line in the middle where you have to do a few paces backwards and Liz is getting agitated because Twisty is doing it and he is not doing it. <laughs> yeah. 
Whoa. I'm gonna shut you down so I can control my horse. the dike. <laughs> Hi Twisty. That is the Vadasse and this is the other half of the dike. So going down the other side. I don't know if you can see actually on camera. Friesland is very flat except for terpen and dikes. Lizard, I'm talking to the camera. Yes. Very beautiful here. I'm trying to keep you steady so you can see how beautiful it is. We are on a break. He had something to drink and he had some treats that I have in my pocket. <laughs> and of course we had another task to do. Um, we needed to throw the dice and then the amount of ice that you get on the dice is the amount of balls that you get to throw through a hoop. Uh, no matter which hoop, but uh, every ball is a point and I got, I rolled five with the dice and then I got four points, so it's not bad, not bad I blip. And you have to do it from your horse. Okay, it rolled six, I hate it. Okay, she missed one, thank goodness. No, you will. <laughs> She's blaming the wind. <laughs> How many did you get? Eat? Three, three, three. Depends on whether they count the wind. Okay, but the wind counts. We all have wind. <laughs> How are you doing, Twisty? Yeah, you would have gotten six, right, Twist, if you were allowed to throw. Yeah. Are we going on? Yes. Okay, let's go. I cantered ahead of the group and now I'm waiting for the group again which is coming in the distance so I can shoot some fancy b-roll. Yeah, gonna do that now. That was a silly face. task was that we had to scrabble a work together. It was like a woods where you had to go through and then find letters and then make a word out of the letters. And these are one of the moments that I'm glad that I play word feud because <laughs> it really helps to do word feud. It helps you get the, the vowels and the consonant, consonants in place and make a word. There's one more task before we reach the finish and that is to uh, hit a ball into a goal with a hockey stick. Oh, we hebben zoveel bloeperbeelden voor jou nu. Nou. Oh, je mag Jackie rustig houden. Nee, dat gaat niet werken. Oh, nee. Oh. Oh, is het mogelijk? Oké, okay, so the guy you heard laughing in the background at my beautiful hockey stick art was Jeroen, of course. And now it's his turn. Go ahead, maestro. Get them in there. Oh, brilliant. Woohoo! 
Yeah, that's that's close. Yep. Well done, Jeroen. He's doing so much better than me. Damn it. No, 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 no. Ah! Oh, man. He'll be smug for a week. Yes, yep. there's no living with him now. Okay, when you get one in, I call it lucky. You were lucky, Jeroen. Well done. Was it luck, Jeroen, or skill? Skill. Definitely skill. I got it on, on tape. In this case, I agree with Itika. The horses are happily enjoying their food. Well deserved. And we got our little ribbon. We're gonna get some food as well. And then have a look at what the scores are. Not that we're in it for the scores, but it's always nice to know how well you did after a day like this. And uh, getting the horses back safely and in one piece and getting yourself back safely and in one piece is always a good result of the day. It's the end of the vlog. I broke my camera so I'm filming this on my phone. If you like the vlog then give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and then tell your friends to subscribe. They already subscribed. Yeah. They're my biggest fan. And I am their biggest fan. Yeah. And whatever you do, don't forget to release your inner Frankie!